Hey, good morning, everybody. Monday morning, good to be with you here. We've got some uh, changes in the Russia-Ukraine conflict, some additional bombings overnight, um, and that is adding some premium here to these grain markets. So let's get started. We've got December corn up 21 and a half this morning at 557. No beans up 14 and three quarters at 14, 16 and a quarter. Wheat, uh, big storyline, up 35. Real quick on the outside markets, equity is a little bit higher. We have a Fed rate decision on Wednesday. Expectation is another 25 basis points or a quarter of a percent hike. But uh, the big news for the grain markets was the bombing of infrastructure here on the Danube River. And, uh, you know, here's a map of that river. Um, Ukraine kind of up in the, um, in the uh, northeast corner there. Uh, but really, this is their, you know, their main pipeline into um, Europe. Uh, with uh, with a lot of the Black Sea, you know, grain deal being terminated and 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 having conflict, what have you. This this port, this river port, was uh, was open and a good valve for them to move, um, you know, move their uh, exports. And so now that we've had some uh, attacks there, you know, this this is an escalation by um, you know by many accounts. So something to watch for. We're certainly getting that market reaction here this morning. Funds, uh, as of last week, net short corn still adding to their beans, getting up to 95000 on a net long, you know, still net short wheat. I think this week is going to be a, you know, a difference maker. We'll see if funds are going to add, uh, especially on the corn and wheat side, you know, if this, um, if this invasion or this, this conflict, this war is going to continue to escalate, uh, funds can certainly be looking to get some long these uh, corn and bean contracts. Here's your seven-day QPF. Uh, no secret here, missing some precipitation, hot and dry weather. That's certainly adding support. Uh, that's probably helping the bean market out more than anything. You know, these markets are certainly uh, likely going to move together. Uh, but the Russian news is a lot more corn and, and wheat oriented. You know, as far as weather goes, yeah, that helps corn um, and wheat. But I think it's a lot more focused on the beans. So again, hot temperatures this week and really lacking on precipitation up to July 31st. Uh, here's your KC wheat chart. This is the December chart, uh, something I've been following for quite a while, a chart I like. You see we just broke above that box here between $889. Um, <clears throat> so, you know, new highs since uh, November. You got to go back to November last year um, before we saw prices like this. So something to keep an eye on. Uh, this is a chart that could certainly uh, accelerate higher um, if, this, if this is for real. Uh, corn. Again, we had that 50% retracement. We made some sales in here, uh, getting a bounce here this morning. We left those uh, Fibonacci retracement levels on. 575 is good target, and then you're all the way back up at six. So, you know, make sure you have a plan. Um, you know, if this if this war escalation adds some premium in here, you know, use that uh, use that to reward some rallies. You can always reel with some calls. So, uh, if you need help with that, we offer a subscription to our report. We've been very uh, active in these markets. They've been good markets for hedging uh, and making cash sales as well as using the board. It's been it's been a really good year for that. So, uh, if that's something you're interested in, we offer a free trial down below, or give us a call. We can uh, certainly you know, help you out with that. Uh, lastly, we appreciate you guys always tuning in here uh, every morning. I think we're going to change our format a little bit given the volatility in the markets uh, and some other things going on. So we'll probably move to uh, a format of posting maybe an afternoon video as we go forward in here. But our, uh, our report subscribers will always um, get our Sunday nights and we'll have our Tuesday videos out as well. So um, just making, making some minor changes as we adjust. But we appreciate you guys tuning in. Uh, make sure to hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're not already subscribing to our channel. And uh, let's go out there and try and get just a little bit better today.